know, the history of the club and how successful the club were and how to play football. And then to move to another, another club with that same ethos, it was, it was quite good because it was virtually the same type, built on great players, built on great success, and more importantly, built on the right way to play football. Built on European Cup final success, of course. That's the one thing that Sir Alex Ferguson is frustrated by, Michael, is did knows his club should have won it more. So, I mean, it's not going any easier, and, and I'm sure if you offered him one more European Cup, he'd snap your hand off. Whatever else Mourinho, we're told, will not be at Madrid next season. He would love to go, winning this competition again. In order to do that, he has to beat Manchester United tonight. They have to be the very best in United. Really, really have to be the very best. It is a perfect occasion for a near-perfect player. And if there's gigs on one side, there's Ronaldo on the other. But he has had a terrific reception, and that's uh, good to report. But let's strip the storyline down to basics for you. This is only for a place in the last eight of the day. Uh, drew 1-1 at Manchester City in the group. Control fouled by Giggs. For Cristiano Ronaldo. Here he goes. But it all goes well for Manchester United. Space here by uh, Dino. Now I know that will change her. Sure, it will from, from time to time, but as a team set up, that's the bare truth. Well, it's a, an injury problem here. As, as, as they go look for this goal, I don't think they'll do it in too much of a hurry, but expect an alteration and some tactics. Ozil, Higuain. Oh, he's got a shooting chance here. And that was alarming for Manchester United. Yeah, it came out of nothing. There seemed to be plenty of bodies there to try and block any little passes around that box. Look at all them red shirts, but still he's able to wriggle his way past them. And, Get a shot in and goal. Joining the other subs. Whether that suggested a disenchantment with a selection or not. This is Nani. Oh, Giggs. <laughs> what a moment that would be on this landmark evening for him. He could have connected with that. The crowd just got the touch in front of him. And might in the end settle for setting up Giggs with a cross back. Passing round the back. Oh, it nearly came through. And Nani was in the middle, he didn't connect as cleanly as he can on his left side, Robin Van Persie. Very good work by Welbeck. Oh, it's a fantastic play all round by Manchester. Still well represented in the penalty area and just outside it with Welbeck. Europe's elite competition from the moment they won the first five in a row. They've been stuck on nine for more than ten years now. Welbeck, back to Nani, who's powered away here. It's another corner though. But that's what Manchester United have picked a team to do. Once again, from Di Maria. The yellow card for Patrice Evra. Actually, cleverly was covering him, but I'm not sure he was aware of it. with the corner. Oh, it's against the post. Is it over the line? Well, the flag is up, presumably, for offside. The flag went up immediately in fairness to the linesman when it rebounded off the post from Vidic's header. I think there was a couple of United players who would say, and you'll see it here as it comes in, yet yeah, the two of them are there, it's Carrick and Welbeck, and arguably it didn't go over the line anyway. But a great few minutes for Manchester United, so unlucky with that wonderful header, it would have counted, of course. Ronaldo, Ryan Giggs, pairing with Welbeck, he might go all the way here against Sergio Ramos. Who anticipated the United attacker's intentions, but he's got into the game very menacingly. Danny Welbeck. Oh, he's done brilliant again. Great link of play there. It looked as if there was nothing at all on. Manchester United to impose themselves in the air. Plenty of height on it. And Van Persie. We did get to a right back of real energy. The Got to be careful with his work tonight. Hit one with Booking and he'll miss the first leg of the quarter final at Manchester. Ronaldo. Higuain coming short. Cristiano Ronaldo trying to run in behind here and he's done that. There was no flag. Filling the, uh, the 
opposing penalty area with red shirts. It's 1-1, it's 0-0 still here. Here's Arbeloa. Higuain able to turn when uh, perhaps Manchester United wouldn't have wanted that to happen. That's yeah, he takes it down. The end of the second leg, but only if it finishes 1-1. Uh, After 90 minutes, of course... 1-1 one, one after 120 minutes, if it goes to extra time, well, this would be penalties. Yeah, bright moment here again for Real Madrid, just been away at one. Out to Ozil. Sergio Ramos going in. And the whistle had gone. Fortunately for Manchester United, I mean, Ramos was determined to win the header, and the referee feels that he fouled. He's also come off with a bit of an injury, perhaps. We can see it's just knocked to the far post. He gets a run on it, Ramos. And has just slowed all back down a little bit. Keep that man quiet. Here's Van Persie. And Diego Lopez only out as far as well back, who followed up. But couldn't. Peter goalkeeper who was glad to make amends for Diggs. Here's Rafael. Sorted out by Sergio Ramos. Howls of uh, complaint around Old Trafford. No sympathy from the referee for the home side, and Cristiano Ronaldo covers the. Brazil uh, carries a lot more invention. And the ball did bobble up. And uh, Arbeloa, who oh, with Milan, has Kaká. Ronaldo! Ball, he's working ever so hard, and there is half time. And if you think of Sir Alex Ferguson as a, a grizzly manager, sometimes a great motivator, very loyal to his players, but he's also a very shrewd tactician. And he's picked as it stands, his team still have the edge, but it's a slender one. Or it would be a wonderful victory. Here goes uh, Raphael in for Welbeck. Could be offside, but the flag hasn't gone up. Nani trying to uh, round it off here. Oh, it's a goal! Sergio Ramos stuck out of foot. Nani had a big part in it. It doesn't change too much, though. Real Madrid still have to score if they do score. And it could lead to extra time. Rafael made the running. Yeah, and once again, Welbeck was in there, causing all sorts of problems. At this point, it looks as like if the danger was averted. Poor, poor defending. And as it comes across, well, Ramos won't, won't believe that it's happened like this. You can see here, as Ram goes across, you think, deal with it, he hasn't. And even then, it didn't look too... Dangerous, but may just have taken a little touch before it came from Danny Welbeck. I think it did, which threw Ramos. But United won't worry about that. Oh, it's an awful moment for Ramos, but he's delighted. But as you said, not a huge change. But a Ferdinand, 1,300 Real Madrid fans at this end of the stadium. Got it through this time. Ronaldo right in the middle, Higuain can cross here, and it took everyone out. What a brave decision by De Gea there, not to take a chance and go down on that, because he knew he wasn't going to take a clean, he just have a look. It's a lovely whip ball gets put in by Higuain, you can see he can actually get it, but I think he was clever enough to realise that nobody would be able to get in quick enough. It's by Javi Alonso, Ronaldo. Collide. Free kick has been given to Arbelo, but Nani was brave. He didn't take his eye off the ball. I don't think it was a, a dirty attempt by any stretch of the imagination. And I think the referee does see that. I hope he does, and if he doesn't, Van Persie is reminding him. I think Van Persie might be referring to that earlier incident when he was... Uh, Perhaps down, it seems. Kaka. 
and uh, put behind. And oh, Varane headed it on. And Manchester United scramble it clear. Real Madrid getting closer. Getting closer, all right. And Rafael did ever so well. He saved a certain goal there. Real back to the wall stuff from Manchester United now. Ozil to take the corner. Modric. Great play against Cleverly and back on his case. Modric. Sergio Ramos. Modric. He has a, a decent shot on him. And it's a scoring shot. Luka Modric returns to England and scores for Real Madrid at Old Trafford. It's 1-1 here, it's 2-2 on aggregate. The difference between the sides now is not on the scoreline, it's the number of players on the pitch. Well, Modric has been involved in everything since he came on, in fairness, he's been really bright. He just found a yard as, as United had retreated, and once he saw sight of the goal, he's put in a wonderful score, and just a pity that the United shirts didn't break out to tackle. You see them, there's three or four go across in the line, but nobody came out to put that little bit of pressure on them. Real anxiety in the uh, Manchester United technical area. It might be slipping away from them. Higuain! It could well be slipping away from them. Cristiano Ronaldo will not celebrate. That was the same in the Bernabeu. But what a moment for him and for Real Madrid. Because Manchester United now need two. Two more, I mean. Fantastic goal from Ronaldo, it has to be said. Sharp as attack when it looked as if the initial shot. You can see it as he turns here and also plays back in. Hugain, he's managed to get himself on the far side and believed he followed in and got his rewards, but it's heartbreaking for Manchester United. They don't deserve to have dropped two goals in the last few minutes. Well, the Red Devils have had a devilishly unlucky red card given to them and Mourinho and Real Madrid have cashed in and Cristiano Ronaldo in particular heartbreaking for Manchester United they had done nothing wrong they were in total there Martin it was more in hope that United players surrounded the referee but Wayne Rooney getting ready to come in below us here that's a booking for Kaká well, Herrick Well back. Danny Welbeck. And then the, the follow-up. There's two high more shouts for handball and the Rami Kadira. Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> oh, he was just trying to get it across the face of the goal. They were really trying. Real Madrid go through. Manchester United held the trump card, it seemed when uh, Ramos put through his own goal, but that gesture of uh, frustration from Sir Alex Ferguson about the red card that baffled United and baffled pretty much everyone in the stadium to send off Nani. To be fair to Real Madrid, they took full advantage through Luka Modric, who fired in spectacular.